Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. So a couple months ago, I uploaded a couple different videos on how to identify real Ray-Bans from fake Ray-Bans. But unfortunately, I got a ton of troubling comments from people saying they'd rather save $100 and just go ahead and pick up a fake pair of sunglasses. Obviously, as you guys already know, I do not support or condone fakes at all. I think they're absolutely disgusting. And that's why I made the videos to help you guys actually buy a real pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses and not be fooled by those cheaper fake Ray-Ban sunglasses. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys why you'd never want to own or wear a fake pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. Okay, so for the first and most important reason, wearing fake sunglasses actually can make you go blind, and that's because they actually don't offer 100% UVA and UVB protection. So for those of you who don't know, any pair of legal sunglasses in America have to be UV tested because it's extremely important. But I'm sure you guys already know that fake sunglasses are going to be illegal and they're not going to come into America the right way. They're not going to go through any of those standards. And because of that, these fake sunglasses can actually slip through those cracks. And unfortunately, that means that they don't need to have UV protection or even drop ball tested. So I decided to go to a very popular auction website and I picked up a UV detector and I also picked up up an $80 pair of Ray-Bans. And after taking a look at these $80 Ray-Ban aviator sunglasses and comparing them to a real pair that I bought from the sunglass hut, I did indeed uh, figure out that these are a fake pair of sunglasses. So with my fake pair of Ray-Ban aviators and my UV tester, I actually took them outside to test it out. So my UV detector actually gave me a UV index of seven when I was in direct sunlight at about 11 o'clock in the morning here in Dallas, Texas. And then I took my fake pair of sunglasses and put it over the detector, over this little sensor here, and my detector actually still registered a four, which means that these did not block out 100% of the UV rays, which is extremely dangerous. So after that quite terrifying result, I went out and I grabbed a real pair of Ray-Ban aviators, and I took my detector back out, and it actually registered a zero for UV rays with the real Ray-Ban sunglasses, which means that these real Ray-Ban aviators block 100% of UVA and UVB rays just like they should. Okay, so we know that the fake Ray-Ban aviator sunglasses are still letting UV rays through these sunglasses into your eyes. And the reason why that is so dangerous is because when you put these sunglasses on, they're actually going to darken your vision. So to help combat your vision getting darker, your pupils are actually going to dilate. So the surface area is actually going to get bigger, allowing more harmful UV rays to enter enter the eye. If you're just to walk outside without sunglasses on at all, your pupils are going to get smaller. They're going to constrict. So you're not going to have to worry too much about UV rays coming into your eye because it's such a small surface area that it's not quite as big of an issue. Of course, we still do want to be protected when we go outside. That's why we want a pair of UV protected sunglasses, but it's not quite as big of an issue when your pupils are smaller. The big problem is when your pupils are dilated because you're looking through something that's making your vision darker. And that's why fake pair of sunglasses can be so dangerous. And all those harmful UV rays over time can actually cause macular degeneration. This is well documented and it is very dangerous. Macular degeneration is going to slowly deteriorate the quality of your eyes and your vision is going to get fuzzier and fuzzier and then eventually you're actually going to be blind. This is very dangerous and scary stuff that we really shouldn't mess around with. I would say for most non-disabled people, our vision is probably the most important aspect of our life. I could lose an arm, I could lose a limb, but it wouldn't be the end of the world like losing my eyesight would. So it's very important and we need to protect it. So don't be dumb. Don't try to save $100 of buying a fake pair of sunglasses. Just go out and buy the real thing. Now I do understand that going out and buying a real pair of Ray-Ban aviators for $150 definitely is a lot of money to a lot of people. But when it comes to buying a pair of sunglasses, there are absolutely tons of other brands you can buy from that are going to be much cheaper. Like this pair of Sun God sunglasses. These are actually going to only cost you around $65 and they are 100% legit and they are going to offer 100% UVA and UVB protections. And that's because they are a legal pair of sunglasses and they have to meet those standards. Otherwise they could get involved in a massive lawsuit or huge fines from the government. Now, if $65 is still too much, I would recommend going to a local sporting goods store where the sunglasses should be around $25 to $30, sometimes a little bit cheaper. And those sunglasses, again, legally are going to be required to have 100% UVA and UVB protection. Another reason why you want to stay away from fake sunglasses is you are actually supporting crime. By buying these sunglasses, you're actually putting your money in the pocket of criminal enterprises. We're talking terrible working conditions, slave labor potentially, and again, organized crime 
it's absolutely disgusting and you don't want your money going anywhere near these people. Okay, so the third and last reason is self-respect. I know a lot of you, myself included, work very hard for what we have and you deserve better than to just wear a fake pair of trashy sunglasses. By wearing these sunglasses, you're disrespecting yourself. So instead, buy something that's going to be quality and it's going to last much longer than these cheap Chinese Ray-Ban sunglasses. So I'm going to go ahead and return these sunglasses and I am going to be leaving the seller negative feedback. But you guys should leave positive feedback on this video and hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and I hope it did help you out a lot. And if it did, make sure to leave it positive feedback by giving this video a big thumbs up down below. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching Shade Review and I'll catch you all in the next one.